Hey, I'm Ben. Um, this is my keyboard rig. It's a little discombobulated at the moment, but um, it's a Kurzweil SP48. Um, I've been I've been only using Kurzweil for uh, eight nine years at this point, um, just because it has a it has a great piano sound, has good feel, and, and that's it. I mean, I don't need anything terribly fancy with this except for something that, that feels good under my fingers and, and and sounds really good and especially since we like don't have like a designated bass player a lot of times i need to carry the low end um with my left hand and that this keyboard can sort of handle that which is great i don't change effects internally or anything else the entire time the only you know I've, i treat it like a piano like you know it's an instrument that i mean i grew up playing piano as a classical pianist that's what i would ideally have on stage and so I'm not using like sound manipulation or reverb changes or anything else like that. You know, certain songs, you know, if there's no bass, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll aim heavier or if I'm doing like solo pieces, I can afford to be up in this register because it, uh, you know, I don't need to fill up the entire room with what I'm doing. Um, on one tune, I use a road sound within it, which I, it's, it's off right now, but just use another preset. Um, just basic little bit of uh, you know, natural distortion and it sounds pretty good. This is an Ovation. Um, I use it just as a MIDI controller. So I loop this into my computer, which is not there, but normally would be. Um, and I run main stage on there and, and uh, programmed a lot, bunch of synths using sort of massive and contact and other soft synths uh, to sort of emulate the sounds that we have on the record, but then build it up more so it sounds better in a live setting. Um, this I found I found this one because it's sort of it's sturdy, it's durable, um, it's got aftertouch. So you know, see, so the key goes down, then I can push it down again, and that makes it like if I put it down a synth sound, it go like ooh, like that. So I can I can do vibrato with one note. Um, I use other little controls to like add portamento or add uh, more vibrato with this or pitch bend and transposing. So. I have it all set up so that this thing controls all the sounds on the computer and I can switch between patches and, and that sort of thing. I use this as a, it's like a vocal uh, loop station, the RC30, and I've got like this vocal mic, which I only use on one song, and I use it to very quickly stack about like eight different vocals over like a three and a half octave range and then get rid of it. So it's just, I almost use it as a, like sort of a, uh, like a shock factor effect. I just use it once during the set.